Hi, I'm Tim Gideon for PCMag.com, and today we have a preview of the Zune HD from Microsoft. The new Zune doesn't have too many buttons. This one is the home button, and up top we have power, and we have volume buttons on the side. The dock connector and earphone jack are on the bottom. The back is a blank canvas, which you can etch various designs on, just like the last iteration of the Zune. And as you can see, the player is incredibly skinny, although that's an iPhone, not an iPod Touch. You get the idea. Clearly, the big story here is the excellent multi-touch OLED screen that operates much in the same way the iPod Touches does. As the name implies, it'll play HD files on your HDTV if you buy a dock accessory, and it'll play back HD video files, albeit in 480 by 272 resolution, which is the screen's resolution. Finding music on your player is pretty easy. There are several different ways to do it. If you want to search by letter, you can do that here. We're looking for most deaf. The music menu features a now playing screen that incorporates artist bios and photos, as well as similar artists whose music you can purchase from the Zune Marketplace. It's interactive and fun, it looks great, and it's not unlike the Genius feature in iTunes in that it suggests music and then asks you to buy it. The now playing screen also features some pretty excellent animation for the user interface. It's uh, I think almost as compelling, if not more so, than CoverFlow. HD radio on a portable player is a first. It looks great. It's seamlessly integrated into the virtual dial, and you can even mark a song to buy it in the Zoom Marketplace if you wish. The way you organize, search for, and view photos is excellent, and this footage is sort of self-explanatory. And you can also see the pinch, expand, zoom feature that's very similar to the iPhone and iPod Touch. It looks great. Probably the biggest news here is the Zune modified version of Internet Explorer Mobile, and a lot of people think this might be a preview of what's to come with Windows Mobile 7. Microsoft would not confirm or deny this, however. Connecting to a Wi-Fi network is easy. The keypad uh, takes a little practice, but has a cool feature where the letter will linger above your finger and sort of freeze there. When you know it's the one you want, you slide up and grab it, uh, as we're showing here, spelling some nonsense into the uh, password window. If the rumors are true, it's going to be a 16-gig player for 220 and a 32-gig player for 290 far cheaper than the current prices for the iPod Touch, but Microsoft cannot confirm or deny that, nor the release date, which is rumored to be September 8th. Look for our review in a few weeks on PCMag.com.